Hillbug behavioral responses to common household substances smells, we chose appropriate chemicals. The first chamber contains water, which has no smell. The second contains vinegar, which is said to be a good bug repellent. The third chamber contains ethanol, which is a type of alcohol, which is associated with fermentation. Since bugs like fermentation, we assume the pill bugs would like this chamber. The fourth chamber contains ammonia, which is associated with nitrogen breakdown, which is common in soil where pill bugs live. soda bottles cut in half and glued together with tape and we labeled everything with post-its and a sharpie and um, we're going to use ETOH which is alcohol and vinegar and um, ETOH we're using because it's associated with fermentation and flies are attracted to fermented fruit. Vinegar we're using because it's a common household item that's tested and tried and true to deter insects. Um, we're going to soak these cotton balls into the EPOH and the vinegar and put them on both sides. Then we're going to cut a hole here and put the soft and melanogaster flies in and see which side they go to for 10 minutes. So what we've done here is we've cut a little flap right here in the bottle and what we plan to do is um, the Drosophila melanogasters are in the fridge. Hopefully they're on the bottom because we checked five minutes ago and they were on the bottom. And we'll stick the, the tube in here and seal it up. So what I'm going to do now is put cotton on the ETOH and the vinegar side soaked with their respective solutions. Um, we're going to put these three cotton balls into the alcohol. No idea how I'm going to get them out, but I'm going to do it. We'll soak them for like a minute. Okay, so we're going to use this thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like a pincer. Forset. 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 We're going to use this. Alright. It's fine. It's alcohol. It's not going to harm you. So we have to like write this down. Okay. Okay, I'll use the four steps to use this. <laughs> I clearly didn't work. No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, so that was the four steps. Okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, I'm going to use the four steps. Okay, so you dunk it. For about 30 seconds, like I did with that one. Kind of 30 minutes. So. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Second. <laughs> second. Second. Is, I'm just gonna stuff them in again. Got it. Try not and fail. Um, and do you want to get the <laughs> There's only one shot at this, so hopefully it okay, works. So, be right back. So it's been about three minutes, and um, we are watching these flies come out of the uh, tube and a They're couple have come out. out. There's some that come out, but lots of them are staying on the bottom. Actually, it looks like they're having trouble coming out, so I think we'll flip it. Uh, all right, can somebody help me? Six, one, two, two on ETOH, and I think six on this side. So, 
on the part of the fruit fly crew, we're having lots of difficulties. Um, for one thing, the flies don't like to come out of their tube. They're staying near the top of the tube, no matter if how hard we're tapping or if we're warming it, they're still staying near the top. And the That's why pill are the best! And the ones that came out of the tube seem to only like to stay on the one side that they've chosen. They're not really flying around. So, I would highly not recommend using fruit flies in the future. Um, pill bugs would probably be much more efficient. Uh, other than that, it was an interesting experience. Thank you. I had more fun doing this lab than any other lab in the history of science classes. Collecting pill bugs, I felt like a little kid again. It was kind of like watching grass grow for parts of it, but like really entertaining grass. Um, I thought that the pill bug lab was very simple and it was very easy to do, but then the fly lab was very complex and like we pretty much sucked, as Kevin said. Thank you.